Hey there, gang. I'm my radar meteorologist, Matthew Capucci, with a quick tropical update. My apologies for my appearance. I'm a little bit under the weather, but we are tracking this tropical wave, which is near the Lesser Antilles, and frankly, it's kind of slow to develop. It has a 40% chance of eventual development, but that'll likely happen in the Central or Western Caribbean, cutting back on the U.S. or Gulf of Mexico threats. We can see there is some broad diffuse spin with this and some thunderstorms near in Puerto Rico. I think Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands will likely see some breezy conditions, maybe some gusty rain squalls moving through today, but nothing overly concerning. This system at present is working against some harsh upper level winds which are trying to disrupt it and kind of knock it off kilter. That's why we think this system will sort of stay weak for a little while and as a result will continue chugging along westwards through the Caribbean, probably not beginning to really consolidate until maybe Wednesday, Thursday and pushing west towards the Yucatan Peninsula. The European model even less bullish on any development odds saying yeah this thing will stay broad, weak probably won't ever actually consolidate or clump together, and it's sliding in a very weak disturbance into like the Yucatan, Belize, that area by the weekend with some rain, with some you know breezy weather, but nothing overly significant. The Canadian model concurs, so I'd say keep an eye out if you live in the Yucatan, Belize, maybe you're visiting Cancun, just watch out, but again, don't cancel anything yet. This to me looks like sort of a, a storm that never really comes together. By early next week, whatever remnants pass over the Yucatan may eventually re-emerge into the Bay of Campeche, where some low end development odds are possible, but again, that's pretty far out at this point. It's something to watch, but for the Gulf of Mexico, I think you're mostly good. Most of the European model solutions also take this system into the Yucatan as a low end storm, if that. But there is one solution of 50 European model runs, one simulation that does have a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. But that is predicated on this system tightening, consolidating, actually forming, and beginning to get together by Wednesday, a little bit south of Jamaica. We'll have to see if that happens. I doubt it at this point. So again, we can't entirely rule out Gulf impacts, but the risk is very, very, very low. Suffice to say, I think we're mostly good in the Gulf of Mexico, but still, we're keeping tabs. As always, stay tuned to my radar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, right here in the free My Radar app. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, we get you covered every step of the way. Sorry I'm sick today, but I promise by hopefully mid to late week, I will be back to uh, my usual self. Anyway, stay safe. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.